All right, New York City, on my pen, Knicks. The final summer league game wrapped up. Kevin Knox went ham, 29 points, nine rebounds. The Knicks were down by 25 points in the third quarter, and Kevin Knox brought him right back into the game. Five or seven from three-point range. This guy went beast. All right? And then we also had um, the Knicks were, were without Frank. Uh, he had a groin injury, so the Knicks' whole offense... Went through Alonzo Cherry, uh, Trier. Uh, so with Alonzo Trier, he actually had a solid game also. He dropped 21 points. He had seven rebounds and five assists. Um, Alonzo Trier, definitely, this was his game to shine and show what he had. He's not really a point guard. He's more like a, a, a shooting guard, but he does have a lot of scoring ability. And uh, he does have great handles. He can create for himself. So that was a good look for him. Hopefully, he does make the, the team. Um, definitely, we, we need help at the guard position. We just have, uh, I'm not sure if Trey Burke is coming back. I'm pretty sure he is coming back. It's Trey Burke, Moody A, and it looks like it could be Alonzo Trier and Frank. All, all the guards that we have. So also, going to Troy Williams... He came off the bench, and once again, another solid game for Troy Williams. He came off the bench, he dropped 15 points. You know, this guy just, he only had 24 minutes of action. Again, in limited action, this guy, you know, really goes to work. And Troy Williams, uh, one of our small forwards, it's a good look for him to come off the bench and do what he does, man. Hopefully, he continues to make the roster spot. And also, in this summer league game, Isaiah Hicks, this is a forward that we got who's undrafted. Basically, he's kind of like a filler for right now for Christopher Porzingis when he's out. But Isaiah Hicks was injured for the first two summer league games. He came back. Uh, he actually finished, and plus minus, he finished a positive 17. He had a good game, uh, 15 minutes, very limited action, but he went, he went to work. Um, very solid, high shooting percentage. You know, it's 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 a it's a small window to see what he, what he has, but hopefully uh, the Knicks can take a look at him more during the offseason, see how he fits in with the offense, because we do need help at that four position. Because Porzingis, we're not going to see him maybe all the way up until February, I believe. But uh, we do need fillers right now at the at the power forward position, and it's it's going to be tough. But the Knicks, you know, you know. They did show some grit in this game. They didn't have Frank. And apparently, you know, Frank, he was holding the offense down. He was running the pace of the offense. Um, at the end of the game, Kevin Knox even mentioned it. They did miss out on Frank's leadership on the offensive end and defensive end. Because Frank, man, he was he was, he was was making it tough for point guards out there. Because, you know, once again, he did grow about two inches over the summer. And he is long and lengthy. So, you know, he was poking the ball out, getting steals. So the Knicks did miss some of that in this game versus the Lakers. Defensively, the Knicks did not really do a good job in this game. Uh, like, it, like I said, they were down 25 points in the third quarter. But uh, with the will of Kevin Knox, man, Kevin Knox definitely showed his potential. As in this game, he kind of like dominated the competition once again, showing that, you know, he does have like NBA starter, starter talent. Also, I want to go down to Mitchell Robinson. Uh, our second round pick, uh, our seven foot center, basically, he's very athletic. Um, he did have three blocks in this game. Once again, he's a blocking machine. He shot a high field goal percentage. Uh, he had 13 points, eight rebounds, three blocks. But unfortunately, you know, down low, the Knicks were getting a bit dominated. But, you know, these are things Mitchell Robinson will, will pick up on, you know, positioning and, and the coaching staff will help him out. But, you know, as far as athleticism and like, you know, just speed and just for a seven footer, you know, these things, you can't coach those things. So he has the raw assets that he needs to be successful. He just has to, you know, get more experience. And hopefully, you know, this season, a lot of the young players on the team will get the ability to make mistakes and learn. And, you know, pretty much, you know, Wrapping up the summer league, you know, it was it was it was a really good look for the Knicks to see what we have as far as roster fillers. I, I believe Alonzo Trier, hopefully he does make a roster spot. I believe you know he could be 
one of our, you know one of our better guards. You know if he could continue to create for himself. Uh, very speedy guy. He has good handles. I mean the garden needs somebody like him to be at the garden. You know to make us you know, you know go oohs and ahs. You know like this guy's crossover is me very mean. He was shaking. He was shaking people, man. He's gonna have Walt Clyde Frazier, you know, pull out the rhyme book for him, man. <laughs> All the commentating is gonna have Alondra Trier's crossovers. But other than that, like, you know, there's a lot of positives to take. Hopefully this summer we'll see how some of these guys improve in, in their raw skill set. But other than that, you guys stay safe, enjoy the hot weather. NYC is gonna be hotter than the motherfucker out here, man. Hopefully everybody got AC in their crib. Don't get stuck in these subways, man. These subway ovens and everybody stay safe peace <laughs>